Everyone, pay attention. It looks like December will be one of the busiest and hardest months we've seen in a long time. We're not just going through another rough patch. There are a lot of problems happening all around us, and none of us can ignore them. Droughts that broke records have destroyed crops all over the Midwest, giving farmers the worst harvest we've seen in decades. California is known for its abundant crops, but farmers have had to leave their lands because they can't get enough water. It's not just at home either. Rising fuel prices, serious labor shortages, and extreme weather that affects every part of the world are all tearing the global supply chain apart. Just last week, big news stories said that Europe is getting ready for winter food shortages and that countries are rushing to get the things they need. What scares you even more? People like us are left to fight for what's left because corporations are already stockpiling goods for themselves. There is no longer a chance that this could happen. It is happening now. Foods like canned goods, grains, and basic health items are being snatched up and stored away. Things will quickly run out, prices will rise, and most of us won't be ready. You don't have time to get ready. This is your alarm. Before December comes around, here are the 30 most important groceries you need to get. 30. Cooking oil. Let's begin with cooking oil. We use oil every day for everything from frying to baking. But the production of vital oils like olive, canola, and veggie oil is going down all over the world. Production is at an all-time low because of the drought in the Midwest and the water problem in California. The situation isn't any better on a global scale. Ukraine, which makes a lot of sunflower oil, is dealing with ongoing wars and droughts in Europe are destroying the olive oil supply. As a result, the prices of these bottles are going through the roof and soon they might not be available at all. If you wait too long, you might have to pay more for cooking oil if you can even find it. 29. Next is rice, a simple food that many of us take for granted. But rice is a treat these days. Flooding in Asia, especially in China and India, and drought in the southern US are both having a big effect on rice fields. To meet their own needs, countries like India have already limited exports. This means that prices are about to go through the roof and stock may be gone before you know it. A lot of people will have to find other, more expensive ways to stretch their meals if they can't get rice. Get some now, because it will be gone for good. 28. Honey Honey is also in danger, which is a surprise. Honey production is going down because of climate change, ecosystem loss, and a general drop in bee populations. When shipping costs go up, this sweetener that used to be cheap may soon be out of reach for a lot of people. Don't just think of honey as a treat. It can last for a long time, is good for you, and even has healing powers that could come in handy when things are tough. Save a few jars now while they're still cheap, because prices will go up soon. 27. You can't always count on coffee and tea to be there when you need them. Countries that grow coffee are having trouble getting enough coffee beans because of bad weather. And tea? Because of the droughts and frosts in India and China where tea is grown, your favorite tea leaves might not be around for long, but prices are going to go through the roof if you can even find them on shelves. Coffee and tea have always been easy to get and comfortable. You should get a lot of instant coffee and tea now while you still can. 26. Dry soup packets and meal kits. Dry soup packets and meal kits may seem like an extra, but they're about to become necessary. Due to a lack of fresh vegetables and rising meat prices, these ready-to-eat meals will be more popular than ever. Okay, everyone, pay close attention. The list of important things you need to get before December keeps going. These are things you use every day that could become very hard to find or much more expensive, so don't wait to stock up. 26. Soups and meal kits that are dried out. At first, dehydrated soups and food kits may seem like extras, but soon they will be necessary. People are looking to quick meals that can be stored for months because the prices of fresh food and meat are going through the roof. 
But these things are in danger because the cost of packing is going through the roof and demand is going up. When things get really bad, you'll wish you had stocked up on these easy meals. Get a lot of them now because they won't be refilled for a while after the shelves are empty. 25. Eggs in powder. Many people eat eggs every day, but don't think they'll always be there. Diseases are spreading on poultry farms, feed costs are going up, and there is a serious return of avian flu. To stop the disease from spreading, farmers have to kill millions of birds. Fresh eggs might soon be out of reach because egg prices are going up so fast. Powdered eggs are also in short supply, even though they are a great option that can be kept for a long time. When fresh eggs and egg powder are hard to find, a small jar today could be worth 10 times as much tomorrow. If you don't stock up now, prices may triple and you won't be able to get anything. 24. Lentils and dried beans. Do you think that cheap dried beans and lentils will always be around? Not so fast. The Midwest and Latin America have been hit by droughts and storms that have destroyed large parts of bean fields. Farmers in Argentina said they lost almost 60% of their crops just last week. These basic foods that are high in protein are important for long-term food storage, but prices are starting to rise because of the shortfalls. If you don't buy a lot of bags of beans and lentils now, you might have to pay twice as much or find stores that are empty. 23rd, bone broth and stock cubes. Those little bouillon cubes may be gone before you know it. They add a lot of taste. Production is being slowed down by a lack of ingredients, especially tastes made from vegetables. Some of the reasons for this are factories slowing down, shipping costs going up, and the prices of spices and herbs going through the roof. You would have a hard time making a tasty soup or stew without bouillon. Soon, the cubes that are still on the shelves might cost two or three times as much. Get some right away. They're an important part of the flavor, and once they're gone, they're gone. 22nd, oatmeal. It's almost time for cornmeal to become a special item in American homes. This year's corn crop is the lowest it has ever been because of droughts in Iowa and Illinois, two places that grow a lot of corn. Cornmeal is also needed to make tamales, polenta, and other foods, not just cornbread. Cornmeal will be gone quickly from store shelves since corn prices are going up. If you don't, you might have to pay more or even worse, not be able to find anything when you need it most. 21st, fish in a can. As supply lines get worse, Canned fish like tuna, salmon, and sardines might soon be impossible to get. Ocean warming and overfishing have greatly decreased catches. Salmon runs are said to be at all-time lows, and tuna stocks are having a hard time keeping up with demand. The price of even simple tuna in a can has gone up by 40%. Don't wait to buy more. You'll be glad you did when the prices go up and the shelves are empty. 20 beans in a can. Beans in a can have always been a cheap standard, but that's about to change. It has been hard to grow crops in the western U.S. and Mexico because of droughts and flames. Californian farmers who grow a lot of the country's beans say their crops have been destroyed or lost up to 50 percent. How it did? Soon, a can of beans might cost a lot more or not be available at all. Get a lot of these cheap proteins right now because they won't be cheap for long. 19. Flour. We think that flour will always be around, but you should think again. Droughts that won't end have really hurt wheat fields in Kansas and Oklahoma, which are big wheat producing states. It's already being said by flour mills that they won't be able to meet demand and that what they do have will cost a lot. Before the prices go up, don't wait to stock up. You'll wish you had a few extra bags on hand. 18. Fruit in a can. If you don't have any fresh fruit on hand, canned fruit has always been handy, but it might not be around for much longer. 
Orchards in California and other important fruit growing areas have been badly hurt by late frosts and wildfires, which has cut the production of peaches, pears, and other fruits. This week, California's Farming Board said that more than 30% of the state's stone fruit fields would never grow back. As the cost of canning goes up, it may not be possible to find fruit in a can for long. Don't wait, because it will be hard to find more of these cans once they're gone. 17. Wine for cooking. Last but not least, let's talk about how to cook with wine. Adding to our list of must-have things for stockpiling, these are the everyday items that will really help when times are tough. These are the things that you'll be glad you have in your kitchen when the shelves start to look empty. 16. Knops for ramen. It's a surprise that ramen noodles, the standard quick meal, are in trouble. Problems with the supply chain and rising wheat prices are making it more expensive and harder to meet demand around the world. There are backups at major Asian ports like Singapore and Hong Kong, which can cause delays of weeks or even months. The biggest ramen makers in Japan said last week that they couldn't keep up with demand and prices are already going up. Imagine having to pay $3 or more for a box that used to be cheap and quick. Get a lot of these easy, long-lasting meals now because they may soon be hard to find. 15. Meat in a can chicken, beef, turkey. In a disaster, canned meat is an important source of energy, but it may not always be available. Meat processing companies have had to lay off workers and cut back on production because of droughts and high feed costs. Texas and Oklahoma have seen record herd deaths. Even imports aren't helping because countries like Brazil and Argentina are already having trouble with shortages. It's hard to stock up on nutrition when you don't have canned meat. Every day these prices go up, so get what you can now before there is a serious lack. 14. Instant Mashed Potatoes Even though they look like a quick snack, instant mashed potatoes are a useful food to have on hand when food is scarce. Farmers in Idaho, Washington, and Oregon are having a terrible time with their potato crops because of the harsh weather. A recent report from the USDA said that potato yields in the US dropped by 25%. This means that it's harder to find quick mashed potatoes. The prices are already going up even though these are light, durable, and useful in many ways. Don't forget to stock up on some boxes before they're all gone. 13. Milk that has veined. It used to be easy to find evaporated milk but now it's harder to find because dairy farms are having a hard time with rising costs and bad weather. Recent news stories from Wisconsin and California say that dairy farmers are killing their herds to save money, which greatly lowers the amount of milk they produce. Prices are going up quickly and factories are already slowing down production. You can store evaporated milk for a long time and use it for cooking, baking, and even replacing fresh milk when you need to. Don't miss out on this kitchen force. Get it now before it's gone. 12. Oats and oatmeal. Even though oats are often eaten for breakfast, they are also very important for getting fiber and calories when food is scarce. Oat crops in the US and Canada have been destroyed by droughts and high heat. In fact, Canadian officials have recently warned of an oat shortage because yields are 40% below average. Oats are becoming harder to find every day because demand is rising. If you buy a lot of oatmeal now, you'll have a solid, long-lasting source of nutrition in case other foods become scarce. Don't forget how important they are. In an emergency, these mixes are very helpful because they provide important nutrition and water. According to new sources, production is being slowed down by the rising prices of things like mineral salts and citrus. Several big sellers have warned this week that there might not be enough supplies and prices have already begun to rise. These mixes can save your life when it's hard to get water, especially if you need to stay hydrated but don't have much. If you wait, you might have to pay more or find stores that are empty. So stock up now. 11. 
Chili and Stews in a Can Canned chili and stews used to be cheap and easy to find, but supply chain problems and rising meat and veggie prices are making them harder to find. A lot of big suppliers recently said they are cutting back on production, which means shops are getting fewer cans. These are great for making quick meals that are high in protein and last for years. They may soon be out of reach because demand is going up and stocks are going down. You will miss out on one of the easiest and healthiest ways to get through a food shortage if you don't stock up now. It's best to get them while you can. 10. Fruit that has been dried. Dried fruit might look like a treat, but when times are tough, it's a great way to get vitamins, fiber, and natural sugars. California is a major maker of apricots, prunes, and raisins. It has been hit hard by harsh drought and water limits, which have led to big crop losses. The Farm Department of California warned just last week that stocks of dried fruit are getting dangerously low and prices are already going through the roof. Bringing goods in from places like Turkey is also not a quick fix since they are also having problems with farming. Before it goes away, dried food could become hard to find and cost a lot. 9. Rice flour and other types of flour. Regular flour is necessary, but people who can't have wheat or gluten should use different flours like rice flour or almond flour. But serious droughts in Asia and California have cut rice production by almost half. Thailand recently said they would limit rice exports to meet demand in Thailand. There are also shortages of almond flour and other fruit flours because of the same temperature problems and high production costs. Now is the time to act if you depend on these flours or want other options for baking before the prices go through the roof and the shops run dry. 8. Spreads and Jams but jams and jellies are more than just sweet treats. They store well and are good sources of food and calories. But strawberry, grape, and berry fields have been destroyed by frost and drought, which means less jam and jelly is being made. This week, Germany's biggest jam maker announced limits, which means that stores around the world may soon run out of jam. Don't think you'll always be able to get a jar. Prices are going up, and supplies are going down. Get as much jam and jelly as you can now because they may not be around for long. 7. Alternatives to dried pasta. Take note if you depend on bean or lentil pasta as an alternative to regular pasta for their high protein content or health benefits. Droughts in the U.S. Midwest have caused yields of legumes to drop by a lot and prices are going up quickly. The USDA said that the prices of legumes are likely to reach all-time highs. This will have a direct effect on these pasta options. Now is the time to stock up on these because they will be hard to find when regular pasta is gone. 6. Electricity and Powdered Drink Mixes Powdered drink mixes and electrolyte packets aren't just for adding taste. They also provide important nutrients and water especially when it's hard to get fresh food or clean water. It is getting harder to make these mixes because the prices of the ingredients are going up, especially for citrus and mineral salts. Suppliers have recently warned of upcoming shortages. These mixes can really help you stay hydrated when you need it the most. Get them now before they add up to a lot of money. Stock up on these must-haves right now to stay ready? These things may be easy to find now, but they'll be priceless in an emergency. 5. Coconut milk in a can. More and more, it's getting hard to find canned coconut milk, which is great for making creamy soups, sweets, and other foods. Southeast Asia is the main producer, and coconut farms there are losing a lot of money because of bad weather, a lack of workers, and disease. Last month, a big provider stopped exporting to focus on meeting local needs. This threw global sources into chaos. Shipping costs are going through the roof, making it hard to import replacements, so the price of canned coconut milk is already going up quickly. Soon, it will be hard to find and even more expensive. 
so stock up now. Your recipes will need those rich tastes. 4. Corn in a Can Canned corn is a cheap and useful food that is in short supply right now. Bad floods all over the U.S. Corn yields have dropped by up to 30% in the Midwest. Manufacturers have already warned that supplies will be limited, and by December, food store shelves might not have any at all. Canned corn is a simple and long-lasting way to add nutrients to meals. If you keep it in your kitchen, get it while you still can, because this necessity may soon become an expensive extravagance. 3. Fish and tuna pouches that are ready to eat. Ready-to-eat fish goods like tuna pouches may seem like safe ways to get nutrition, but shortages are coming. Tuna numbers are dropping in Inena Danonia, both the Atlantic and Pacific, which is a big problem for fishers. At the same time, rising fuel prices are making fishing trips more expensive. Because of these problems, a big fish company said last week that it would be cutting back on production. Prices will stay high once they start going up, so these handy protein packs might not be cheap for much longer. Get a lot of these ready-to-eat foods now. They will come in handy when you need protein without cooking. 2. Pumpkin in a Can Pumpkin in a can, a holiday favorite and useful food item, is running out very quickly. Illinois, which grows a lot of pumpkins for the U.S., has had one of the tiniest crops in years because of extreme heat waves and droughts. Farmers say that canned goods will be hard to come by and will cost a lot when they do. You can add canned pumpkin to more than just pies. Soups, baked goods, and even dog food taste great with it. Don't wait. If you miss this chance, you might not get another one for months or at a price that makes it a treat. 1. Cocoa Powder there is a big problem with cocoa powder, which is needed for baking, cooking, and making hot chocolate. West Africa grows more than 60% of the world's cocoa, but drought, disease, and poor soil conditions have destroyed cocoa crops. Big sellers said last month that cocoa prices could double by the end of the year because stocks are running low and demand is still high. Because it doesn't go bad and makes many recipes taste richer, Cocoa powder is an important thing to keep in your pantry, but soon, its prices might rise so much that you'll think twice about that chocolate treat. Get it now before it's sold out or too expensive for you to afford. Thank you for seeing. If this movie helped you get ready, please like and subscribe for more information on food stores and other things you need to be ready. Be careful and smart about what you buy.